the Utility tab provides a comprehensive overview of all identified devices on the network, plus all the microphone transmitters. Clicking the Configuration filter limits the display to only the devices in your configuration. This is useful for large networks with many devices. Each line item starts with an icon for the respective device type, followed by the group number to which the device belongs. The next information in the list is the device role as used within the MXW software, for example in the Configuration tab. Next are two more device identifiers. First, the device model, reflecting the component type, such as MXW APT8, MXW 1BP, or MXW NCS8, and the editable device name, as shown in the Monitor tab. The next set of information is for the networked devices with IP addresses, such as APTs, which will show two IP addresses for network control and network audio. MXW Annies use a single IP address for control and networked audio. The following two columns show battery information for only the portable devices. Here you will see the remaining battery capacity to give one indication on the current health of the battery, as well as the number of charging cycles the battery has gone through. The last columns show the current firmware version of each device. By pressing the Edit button, various device settings can be identified or changed. These are all the Dante settings, various general settings like the device name, and whether the same name should be used in the Dante network as well. The IP address settings can be manually changed here as well, for example if no DHCP server is present in the network, or if intended for other network administration or control reasons. There is even a warning of potential IP address conflict. The last setting in the edit window is the channel density mode, either standard or high density. For most applications, use standard density mode. To fit additional channels on air or to operate in crowded RF environments, switch to high density mode. Any changes which have been applied on a per device level are not yet executed and the impact devices show up with a pending status for their device properties in the utility overview it requires a final confirmation via the Apply All button on the upper right-hand side.